I'm a believer. I wouldn't if I tried. I forgot the words, but you get the point, okay? Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. And we are here today to talk about my month end favorites, all the things that I've been loving um, for roughly the last month, the month of September, right in there. And uh, I'm actually really excited for this video because I have quite the haul, okay? I, I have, I've assembled um, quite the group of things that we are going to discuss. And uh, it definitely it definitely kind of spans the gamut. You know, you know how some months, um, I feel like when I do these videos, I sit down and I'm like, well, I don't really have a lot. And then other months, <laughs> like this, month I sit down and I'm like oh I have so much shit and we really just need to get into it because I got like a whole lot of products to discuss but before we get going too far into that you guys know the drill I like to stop introduce myself for anybody that might be new here hello hi uh, my name is Paige this is Seeking Alexandria welcome to the channel again if you are new um, I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday usually right around 7 7 30 ish big ish um, a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan so it's bright early morning uploads and uh, you know it's just a fun good time if you like someone to hang out with in the morning me if you want someone to talk to you hey girl what's going on um hang out with me monday wednesday friday down in the comments watch the video hope you enjoy them i don't know what am i saying who am i i don't know it's just it's been one of those days and also you know just like getting off of that that weird i don't I don't even want to call it a train of thought because it was more just um a lot of word vomit but you know getting away from that for those of you that also don't know i am trying to hit 10,000 followers over on instagram i know i talk about it all the time but for those of you that haven't done so yet i would greatly appreciate it if you would take a second go down in the description box and follow me because I'm trying to get that swipe up feature, which for those of you that don't know, that's where that 10,000 comes from. And um, I I'm definitely well on my way. I'm putting up a ton, a ton, a ton of content over there. Just to give you kind of an idea of what's going on over there, if you don't know, because like I said, I have been um, really upping my game. I've been revamping it over there a lot, but I do put up a lot of like makeup photos, makeup IGTVs, testing new makeup, makeup reels, makeup reviews, like little mini, little, little what I call little mini makeup moments, if in you will. Um, and I do a lot of that in the feed along with with um, plus size fashion, just really getting into the photography end of it. Um, it has been really fun for me lately in the feed. And then also in the Insta stories, which is the 24 hour part, like it goes away every day. Um, but in there, I love to hang out with you guys. I do unboxings in my office. We talk about what, what you know, whatever I'm wearing, what, whatever really the topic of the day is. That's also where I talk to you guys, tell you funny stories, hence, you know, like the whole ankle thing. That's where I told you um, about that. And it's just really the place where I just, I don't know, I love to hang out with you guys. I think it's the fun place to be, especially if you like me, you like my personality and you want some more of this you want more of this um this <laughs> Although after that, I don't know why you would. But uh, if you're ever looking for just more page, more page all the time, definitely check Instagram. That is where everything is at. And uh, I would just, I would really appreciate it. If you wanted to take a second, go down in the description box, check it out per usual. And uh, you know, you know, that, 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 that's pretty much it. That, that, that's all I got on the, on the, on the page, you know, push myself on you front that that's all I have for that. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to pick a product and we're going to get started. All right. So to get this started, we're going to go in first with all of the things that I have from this one brand, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six items, and all of them hail from Little Mr. Patrick Ta Beauty, and if you haven't seen my video on that, I will link it up here. Um, I go through and basically do an overview of the entire brand, testing out all the things, and you guys, I, <laughs> I have not stopped using, not stopped using Patrick Ta Beauty since that video, and like, I, I just, oh, like, I can't express to you, I'm, 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 I promise, this is me trying to compose myself, okay? I am so obsessed <laughs> with the way that his products, the textures, the way that they work, feel, glide onto the skin. Like, oh, they are so satisfying. That was such a face. The thing about Patrick Top Beauty, and, and I think something that's gonna help me kind of streamline this process, because, you know, since six products is a lot from one brand. Um, but, but the thing that I love about them, at, um, and I don't wanna repeat it with every single item, be like, oh, this is creamy, this is creamy. You know, I don't I don't wanna be that person. Um, so I think to get it out of the way, like the, the things that I love about every single one of these products, the reason they are in my favorites, would be hands down number one reason is the consistency. Products just have such a beautiful, creamy, velvety kind of texture and the way that they apply and the way that they almost like melt into your skin, it is actually uncanny to me because it, it doesn't matter if you're playing with a face product, a lip product, a brow product, his stuff just from one item to the next is so beautiful. The way that it sets and presses into the skin and uh, you know this is something that I touched on in that video too where I tried it all out but there's something about his makeup and the way that 
you can tell both in his style for application and in the way that he curates his makeup that it's meant to have such a beautiful um like sculpted look but also be very um very pressed into the skin very very skin like but in kind of a perfected way and i think you know like i just you know starting from the bottom and working my way up here that is the one thing about his little duo here this is his blush duo in the shade she's that girl and it comes with a cream blush right here and then obviously the powder blush and this duo has been something of a magical little ride for me and a big tell for me with this product like one of the one of the things right out of the gate that i loved about it is that even when i'm working with a foundation or like you know say a new product new primer whatever but a product that isn't working on my skin like in the complexion realm um even when i'm working with that and it doesn't look good i can still go in with this and it by itself is able to kind of perfect and blend out and blur that whole area and just make it look absolutely perfect and so you know anytime i can have like a, a cheek product specifically like this um work that kind of magic on my skin i just i fall head over heels in love for obvious reasons oh and before i move on really quickly something else i want to note um i had a bunch of you guys in the comments of this video telling me that uh you're, you're actually supposed to where you can use the blush like the powder one first and then put the cream one over top of that and it gives your face a glow it's something that patrick ta has talked about a lot um in like all of his various videos and stuff and i wanted you guys to know and I, and I mentioned it in a couple of comments but i just kind of wanted to put it out there that uh i this is something that i am aware of i've seen him do it and it does look beautiful because that video was my first impression and it was just you know my first crack at all of his stuff i wanted to make sure that i was using his products the way that i would normally use products like this and so obviously i went in this first and then this over top but you know just so you guys know that's why i did it that way like yes i know that's a way you can do it the powder first but because it was a first impression i chose to do it the other way and then after i was off of camera you know in the past month or however long it's been i did go in and top um this over top of the blush the powder one and i do agree it looks beautiful it has an amazing like lilt and luminosity and light little sheen to the skin which is gorgeous um so i don't have any issue with it working that way it was just because it was a first impression i wanted to make sure um that i did it my normal way so that just so you guys know that was the only reason um that i that i chose to do it like that um just you know wanted to clear that up so anyways love 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 that blush duo and then along those same lines um this other blush i have to mention it this is his monochromatic moment velvet blush in the shade she's passionate and i am absolutely obsessed with this i love the color the tone the texture again everything i've already said um but but this blush for me has actually worked really beautiful as has that other one in the in the uh, duo right there because these blushes just have such a beautiful almost like blurring kind of finishing powder effect over my skin we're actually a couple of times with both of those blushes that if i was having like a bad complexion day like my foundation wasn't looking good things were just looking just all kinds of textured i would actually reach for those specifically like j just because of their texture and because of how they do blur over top of my skin more like a finishing powder um i would reach for those on purpose just so i could get like that nice little smoothing effect through here and every single time they worked beautiful they have such an amazing finish to them could not recommend them more 10 out of 10 beautiful all right now before we get into lips with patrick ta we are going to talk about this because if you follow me if you've been here for any length of time if you have seen me on instagram if you see me anywhere you have seen me talk about this freaking wax this is his shaping wax in the tinted color he does have it in clear as well and this freaking wax you guys it is so so good the texture of it is so beautiful on my brows and i absolutely love it i have been using it I, I honestly i use this almost every single day since i did that video because i loved how beautiful and lifted and fluffy my brows looked like th this wax has a way of lifting and like pressing your brows up almost like um how people now are kind of laminating their brows like the, just to get that fluffy lifted look um i feel like that is what i get when i use this and then all month long i was going in and pairing this with the uh the abh brow pen which is kind of like a um like a felt tip pen brow flick kind of moment even though i did use those two products together for like the last month or however long it's been um i did choose to put this one in here that this specific brow product and not the abh because with the abh product there's a couple of things that i'm still unsure about and i did order a couple of other like similar products to the abh pen to try and get you know a feel of it see if i really do like that one because what i don't want to do is come on here and tell you guys you know oh i love this abh pen it's amazing um w without really having anything to compare it to like i just that doesn't sit well with me but when it comes down to something like this you know a wax or a brow gel whatever you want to call this um i do have a lot of experience with those i've used a ton of different brow gels waxes whatever but to be fair with this product i do think that there is a 
little bit of a learning curve like you you know you do kind of you have to get your sea legs with it a little bit before um before you find that perfect consistency you know how wet you want it to be that sort of stuff but again overall for me it has been a home run i have really really enjoyed it and every time that i use it and i mean every single time um if i use that and go on instagram or take a selfie post a selfie whatever you guys absolutely always comment on my brows you love them how lifted and fluffy they look and it has been this every single freaking time because it's just it's absolutely beautiful so again highly recommend might have a learning curve you know you, it might not be your cup of tea like it, it's definitely um kind of kind of a weirder product that i could understand why you know maybe everybody wouldn't love it but for me i've i've really been enjoying it and it's a home run All right and then the last couple of items i have from patrick ta in the lip department of course we have his lip pencil this is his precision lip crayon i'm sorry in the shade she's bold and i actually have two different shades but i'm picking this one specifically because this color oh my god you guys it is absolutely life-changing i'm obsessed obsessed with this shade right there it is it's almost like the perfect mixture i would say in between like like a nude brown but like a, a nudie brown with kind of a pinky undertone to it and i am just absolutely obsessed with the color next item here we have is the what is this she's independent okay and this is his lip cream and oh my god you guys this color look at the oh god just look at it look at it it's so good um it has such a beautiful again velvety texture it's very nice very easy um to wear to apply and even as it dissipates off of the lip it's still really beautiful it gives you um more more of like a like a satin matte that as it wears off just kind of clings to the lips a little bit and it does lean a little bit more matte kind of as the day wears on but still super duper comfortable very nice and again more of a creamy formula and then this is a gloss that i did talk about obviously in that video um, this is his gloss in the shade she's expensive and oh you guys this gloss is so beautiful the best part about this is that this gloss is actually one I have had in my collection for a very long time um, like like this is something I purchased right when it first launched off of his website and um, for a long time it just rode around in my purse and it was actually the perfect purse gloss because it's just truly one of those colors formulas sheens like everything about this is so easy to wear whether you are wearing you know day-to-day -day makeup or full glam if you're wearing a bold lip or a neutral lip it just it really doesn't matter because this gloss is so perfect in every single way again texture color tone a little bit of glitter not too much super shiny very juicy looking on the lips and what i love about it especially in combination with these other products is that i feel like with his you know all of his lip products kind of switching them in and out working with them you know now for quite some time i keep going back to the fact that his lip products just have something magical about them like something um something in the way that they apply that they last they just always look so like what's the word oh they look so expensive i guess is the best way i could put it like they always look very high end very very um sophisticated to me and so every time that i wear them i just i i feel like it really does complete my entire face i think one of the things that bothered me at first with these is that like i, I, I couldn't put my finger on what it was about these lip products like what about them made them like work so beautifully and what i have settled on is twofold number Number one, um, just like I said about everything, the, the creaminess, the texture, it is so beautiful. The application is amazing. Um, but for me, with these ones specifically, I think number two is honestly the, the richness in the color. Like there, there's a there's a, um, a kind of like a, a heightened rich feeling to them, um, especially in these two these two colored ones right here, the the pencil and the actual lip cream. They just have such a beautiful rich tone to them that's slightly different. It just has more of like a vibrancy to it um than than so many other nude type colors that i have and i think it's a combination of that richness with this ultra juicy beautiful glossy lip and when you combine those three things it's just like oh like it's just it's absolute beauty perfection and all of the things above all right so at this point i'm gonna go ahead and i'm, I'm gonna move out of the patrick ta land because we've been here for a hot minute and i'm actually gonna get into two products that i have been really really loving from rare beauty and so first of all if you didn't see my video i will link it up here i did a full video of course on rare beauty testing it out all the good things and for today's video i do have two products the first one is actually this one right here this is the um matte lip cream in the shade fearless and i just absolutely love this
this, the color, the tone, the texture, everything about it is so beautiful. And it has the most pillowy like consistency to it. It is amazing, super comfortable to wear. And for me, what I love about this product is that I'm able to get this really nice like satin matte kind of color on my lips. But at the same time, I don't have to deal with a lot of texture, like, you know, like a, like a liquid lipstick kind of texture. Those aren't really my favorites. And with this one, I'm able to have, you know, that comfort. I'm able to have um, really the feeling of nothing on my lips, but still have this beautiful, beautiful color with an amazing finish to it. And overall, I just really love the formula. It lasts very nicely on the lips. Also, really quickly, I, I definitely don't know how to count because I have three products from Rare Beauty, not two. I, I don't know why that third one was, you know, such a jump in my mind. But in addition to that lip product, I also want to talk about this shade of the cream blush. And this is in the shade Bliss and oh, oh, oh my words, you guys, I am ob obsessed with this. Look at that color. It is so light, so beautiful. It blends like a freaking dream. And this color specifically, it just works really well on my skin tone. It works great with a ton of foundations. Very similar actually to the lip product up here. It just has such a nice, um, light kind of fluffy feeling on my face. Ultimately for me with this one, it just blends into my skin so beautifully and it never has any like presence on the skin in a bad way. Like in terms of the weight or the texture or, you know, just being able to see that product built up because it just melts into everything else because it's so thin, it's so lightweight. Um, and it's just, it's super beautiful on the skin. So I wanted to mention that. And then along with that, I also want to mention this, which I was actually kind of surprised about this one myself. This is the liquid luminizer in the shade Enlighten. Truthfully for me with, uh, with this one specifically, I'm, I'm just going to tell you the, the dead ass truth. I did not expect to like this at all because with this product, I felt like, um, you know, when I, when I was looking at it online, when I got it here, feeling the texture of it, I just felt like it was going to be way too thin, way too, um, almost oily that it would, you know, just separate my foundation. It wouldn't look good up here. And what I ended up finding with this is that even though it has that very light feel to it, kind of like I was saying with that, um, that oil slip type situation. Um, but even though it has that, it still works beautifully on my skin. It doesn't lift foundation. It works beautiful with powder and, you know, layering it with other products. And just overall for me, like I love using this on a day where I just want to get like a nice light kind of like sheen to the skin just to start building that highlight from like a cream level. Um, I go in with this and it is so freaking beautiful. It stacks so nicely with other products. And then there was this one day I was actually playing with makeup and I'm going to show you, you know, just, just because why not? Um, I was playing around with makeup after work and I had my full face done, which, oh, by the way, pause, should have mentioned. Um, if I, I don't think I said this yet, but if you're wondering what I'm wearing, when did this happen? I actually just got done filming. I think for you, it would be Monday's video. So I will link it up here because I went through and I tested out some new makeup from Beautylish. I'm testing um, a new foundation, a cream bronzer, two new highlights, the one from Denona and the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and just, you know, a couple of things like that. So if you're interested, you want to know what this is, everything will be linked down below, but the video I will link up there if and you're curious. But anyways, like I was saying, sometimes after work, um, I, I like to come in here and just play with makeup, play with textures. And because, you know, my, your makeup's already old, you're going to wash it off anyways. And so I grabbed some of this and I actually tapped it just, you know, over top of my day makeup right in this area just to see, you know, how it would sit, how it would work with, you know, foundations and whatnot. And what I actually found is that this product is more versatile than I thought because you can actually pop it over top of um, your other makeup. Like for instance, right now, my face is completely powdered and it doesn't do anything to disrupt the uh, the makeup underneath. It just presses in right over top of it and it doesn't didn't lift my foundation like it looks absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong, obviously I don't, you know, I don't typically go in with the intention of wearing it like that, but I was just really impressed with the consistency of it and the fact that I was able to do it. I just thought it was really cool. Um so, you know, I just wanted to share it. I really like it and it works just beautiful as as a all over nice and light little luminous highlight. You can work with it, build it up up, sheer it out. Um, if you want more of a light glow, you can get that. Again, you want to build it up, you can do that too, your call, but super, super pretty. But anyways, you guys, I am going to try to speed things up a little because I'm, I'm talking a lot per usual. Um, so, and I want to bounce around and do a little complexion. And so I'm actually going to go into two concealers that I have been loving as of late. And uh, well, I've, I've been loving them for a while, but for some reason they just made a huge resurgence. And so first up here, we have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And then the other one that I have is the Benefit Boy cakeless concealer. Now I want to start off by saying with Benefit, I do get PR from them and they did just recently, like a week or two ago, send me three new shades of this. They sent me shade one, two, and 2.5. And so, so I do have PR from them. In addition to that PR, I actually had a tube of this that I purchased from Benefit. Um, God, back when they first, 
just launched it a long time ago. It was in shade one. And that was actually the tube of concealer that I was using this entire past month. Um, it, it, again, it wasn't up until a week or two ago that they sent me the PR. So I was using one that I purchased that entire time, you know, just again, for full transparency, just so you guys know. And in any event, with all of that said, it really, really doesn't change, like I said, my opinion, because the, the texture of this concealer is something that I have just been so just in love with as of recent. I've reached for it like almost every single day. If I wasn't reaching for the L'Oreal one, um, I was reaching for this one because the the feeling of this, it is so lightweight, but it's also very buildable. So if you're going for lighter coverage, you can definitely sheer it out. But because the consistency of it is thinner, you can also, you know, build it up. You can um, double it up without it feeling or looking like cakey or, you know, any kind of like dried out kind of texture on your under eye. Actually, that's a perfect juxtaposition to the L'Oreal one because the, the reason that uh, I ended up falling in love with this one was because I had forgotten over the last, you know, multiple billion concealers, um, I had forgotten how beautiful and full and robust this L'Oreal concealer was. And I mean that in the best possible way because it has just such a fullness and like a, like a thick um, kind of consistency, whereas this one is a lot thinner. But with this one, it's like thick, but it's... Um, it's so like, like when you blend it out you you get this beautiful consistency it's full coverage it's gorgeous in texture and it's more of like a satin kind of finish so it doesn't try you out and it just for me this one kind of reminds me of like um like a satin version of the Tarte Shape Tape like it has that same you know kind of a thicker consistency beautiful coverage but it doesn't dry you out it doesn't look thick and cakey like I said for me I've been reaching for both of them pretty interchangeably um but but just in terms of like the consistency I thought it was so interesting because I found myself reaching for two concealers that are actually very, very different. Um, this one being, like I said, more of a thin formula. It does dry down. You can double it up. You can work with the, um, the, the, the actual coverage of it more than this one, but they're both so beautiful. They blend out amazing. And also just as a side note with this Benefit um, Cakeless Concealer, I have been really, really loving um, the Maybelline Fit Me With It. Like this combo right here. <gasps> oh, honey, my under eyes look buttery, soft, smooth, amazing fantastic because there's there's just something about this combo they look amazing um it's, don't get me wrong obviously this is one of my favorite powders of all time anyways but like this combo oh my god i wasn't ready okay i was not ready for the absolute beauty and the awe and the just oh the everything so yeah just highly recommend love this combo love both of these concealers so much right now just in terms of complexion you know still still kind of on this little section here i want to ask you guys a question um because i've been testing a lot of foundations you guys know this i have the uh, the two faced born this way the one um from ColourPop, the pretty fresh i have the chanel the bite the um the it cosmetics and just just overall a ton of foundations that you know like i said i've been testing i've done videos on and what i want to know from you guys is would you be interested in um like a like a foundation wrap up you know getting my my final thoughts my opinions on those um or even just an update video in general like is that something that would be helpful to you and i just wanted to ask before i made the video because obviously if you guys don't think you need it you don't want it um that's completely fine I don't want to put hours into it if, if it's not something that you guys need. Um, but just in terms of, you know, complexion, foundation, or just other stuff I've been trying, is that a video you would like? Let me know down in the comments. The purposes of this video, I do want to mention just really briefly um, about the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation, which, like I said, I do have a full video. I will link it up here. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, just, just in case you guys do want the other video. But with this foundation, I have to mention it because I have been so freaking impressed with this. Like, again, if you saw that video, you saw the train wreck, okay? I used this twice, and my first attempt was an eh, absolute disaster, okay? No, no, nobody should have had to be subjected to that business, um, but, but then when I went through and I used it the second time, and, and, you know, every single time since then, this foundation has looked so beautiful, so flawless on my skin, and, you know, yes, it did have a little bit of a learning curve. It, I definitely had to, um, to, to get to know it a little bit, you know, how it applies, how fast it dries down, and what kind of a powder, you know, ratio combination to use with it. But overall, this is one of those foundations. If, if you are someone like me, you know, your, your oily skin, combo leaning oily, something in that direction, this foundation is absolutely beautiful on the skin. 
All right, now really quick, I do have two sprays I wanna mention. The first one we have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. And this one, for any of you guys that have watched me for any length of time, you know that I am absolutely, absolutely obsessed with the Urban Decay, the original All Nighter. I think it is so freaking beautiful. One of the issues that I have had with that, um, that spray, especially over the last couple of years, as my skin has changed, you know, I used to be super oily and now I'm more combo leaning oily. Um, th that one, depending on the day, depending on my skin, it can be just a little bit too matte, a little bit too intense for me. And so when I first tested this one, you know, I was, I'm, I, I will admit, okay, I was super freaking skeptical because I just, I'm so used to the Urban Decay All Nighter performing a certain way. And yes, it locks your makeup in, but like, I just, I could never imagine a version of that where you were able to have those benefits plus like a glowier kind of finish. And now, now that I've used half the bottle, let me tell you, okay, I'm a believe I wouldn't, mm, if I try, I forgot the words, but you get the point, okay? With this spray, I'm just gonna read you a little bit off the back here. It says that this gives you a refreshed, dewy finish, and it's infused with a hit of hyaluronic acid, agave extract, and um, it'll leave your skin feeling moisturized all day, and it's supposed to be like a very lightweight, temperature control kind of product. And for me, I, you know, now that I've, like I've said, I've used it a lot, over half the bottle's worth, um, I'm really impressed with this one, more so than anything, because it really does does go into your skin and give you such a beautiful glowy finish but at the same time it still works to really lock your makeup in and and really kind of press all of those layers together but like seal them in with that hyaluronic acid you know that that nice kind of sheen um but but at the same time it's not over the top like it, it doesn't overdo it it doesn't make you like way too dewy and so I think for me even though it says ultra glow I would actually say that like if the other one is more of a matte finish this one for me is more like satin leaning glowy like it's you know it's not all the way glowy for me but it's it's pretty good like between like I said satin and glowy and I think that is what makes this so versatile because as somebody who has you know combo leaning oily skin I'm still able to use it I'm still able to love it and like I said I reach for it every single day I think it looks beautiful on my skin actually fun fact moving into the next spray that I have I really really love to pair this spray with this one from Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush flawless set spray and this freaking spray <laughs> oh my god you guys this is one of the most lock it in kind of sprays like when I put this on my face like bitch th th this face it ain't going nowhere okay it is locked in for days it's gonna be there forever and that is it says actually on the back primes and sets for up to 16 hours instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied no melting no fading no creasing um and you just spray it over mist you can use it like I said primer or as a um end ending what the hell? Setting spray. There we go. It has such a beautiful way of just gripping everything together and really holding it in place. And again, I'm one of those, I'm like a very, very harsh critic in case you can't tell. And that has been one of those sprays for me that it really just does such a beautiful job at locking it in, but without giving you like an overly mattified or an overly um, like, like weird finish on your skin. This one does give me that little bit of hydration. It helps kind of like keep my skin, um, you know, <laughs> look at me, huh? Super cute. Um, but it helps to keep my skin, you know, n nice and hydrated throughout the day. But at the same time, this one comes in on a topical level and just keeps everything nice and locked in place. And between the two of them, like I said, it's been a great combination. I've used them both a ton and I just, I, yeah, I really, really love them. So just, you know, have to have to mention them. Huge, huge, huge fan of those. All right. So now at this point, we are on to my last two products and I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm to get through these right quick and fast. I promise. And uh, the first one I'm going to buzz right through because I have talked about this one. Um, I want to say like two or three ish months ago and I actually talked about it just in uh, in this video as well because I I'm wearing it on my face right now and that would be the Kiar Wise or Wheeze Wise whatever um, this is their cream blush and I am absolutely obsessed this is in the shade blossoming and oh, oh my god you guys I have been obsessed with this cream blush like I just said when I was filming this video I have been obsessed with this since I filmed the testing Samantha Ravindel's favorites which I will link and I have talked about this so many times I have used the ever living bejesus out of it. I think it is so good. What I love about it is that the texture of this one, it is so beautiful. It's so effortless. And I feel like, um, like in terms of comparing the two, the Patrick Ta one, like I said, it's, it's super duper beautiful, but I do feel like there's a difference just a little bit in the formula because the Patrick Ta one has more of like, um, like a built-in kind of shine, almost more of like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, like a balmy waxy kind of feel to it. Like it has that, that type of 
flip to it. Whereas this one has more of like a straight cream, like it doesn't have um, that balmy feel to it. And I know, I know it's it's hard to explain, but this one for me, it just has more of a natural kind of press into the skin feel, texture, like the, the way that it works in general is just a lot more natural into the skin than that one, which again, I love them both. I don't have an issue with that, which is why I wanted them both in the same video. But just there is a difference um, in terms of like the type of texture you're going for. And I definitely think of the two of them, this one is more versatile because um, it, it really can lean in both directions. You can use it um, just in a ton of different applications. And overall, this one for me, I've worn this on no makeup makeup days, no foundation days, um, where I just want like a little something because it, it just, it melts into the skin without you even really being able to see it, feel it, know it's there. And so I just, I wanted to give it another shout out. Again, I've reached for it a million times. I have, I've used up, I mean, I would say a fair amount of that pan right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've made a hell of a dent in this one as well. And uh, even though it is super pricey, I regret absolutely nothing because I'm just, I'm diehard obsessed with it. And I also keep it right in its little box because I need it to be safe at all times. So I love her. And then the last item that I have is actually from Melt Cosmetics, which I use this in testing new makeup, which I will link up here. And this is their Digital Dust Duo Blush in the shade Buzzkill. And I freaking <laughs> love this, okay? I love this by itself. I love it with other blushes. If you want to use it as a topper, if you want to use just one side or the other, I don't care, okay? I don't care how you want to use it. Just use it because it is so freaking beautiful in terms of the texture, the way that it sets onto the skin. And I'm going to actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll mix the two sides together. Like, <gasps> it looks so beautiful. It presses into your skin. Um, again, it does have more of like that very, very fine um, mill to it. So in terms of like texture, it doesn't emphasize anything. And on my face, I'm someone that, you know, typically if I go in with a blush or something like this that has more of a sheen, um, well, for, first of all, I'll tell you, it's not usually my favorite. I typically prefer a matte blush, but with this one, there's something about like the brightness and that texture and just everything about it. And the way that this wears all day, because it definitely lasts on my skin, which is very impressive because it's shimmery. Um, but, but there's something about this one, like the, the brightness of it, it makes my face look so bright and so awake. And even, you know what, I mean, what the hell? Why, why not throw a little bit of this on too? Like what else am I doing? As you will see, you know, now that I'm applying it here, um, there's something about this blush that just looks so, um, so bright and so welcoming on my skin tone. And even though it looks like, you know, oh, it's gonna be too much or it's gonna be shimmery, it's gonna be this, that. It just, it never looks too much. It just gives my face just the right amount of, of, of brightness and healthy and glow. And I just, I, I honestly can't say enough good things about it. But anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of my month and favorites. Don't forget to leave me all of your favorites down below, whether they are these, something else, if you do like these, um, or hell, even if you like these videos, let me know it down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and everything uh, that I'm wearing, all of this, it will be linked down below. That beautiful people, this video is officially a wrap. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am covered in so many things, all of them pretty, 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 pretty. Paige, stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it right now, 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 now. Okay, I'm done. What's up, Scooty? Oh, don't, don't break now. Earth my girth. Earth of my girth. Earth of my girth. Arfa. Arfa my garfa. Falling all the time. The only thing you're allowed to do is fall in love with me and you. <laughs> Stop it.